Right, you guys, the end of Windows 10 is what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Now, we already know that Windows 10 will reach the end of support on October 14th, 2025. But Microsoft have just released some information about the current version of Windows 10 22H2 will be the final version of Windows 10. So you are not going to receive any more feature updates for Windows 10. You will still receive security updates up until that deadline of October 14th, 2025. And that will be it. You will not receive any more feature updates. So no more added features will be given to Windows 10 from this day forward. Now, that being said, that Windows uh, LTSC will still receive security updates uh, for the foreseeable future up until whatever end of life uh, date they are given. But you can see the end of life here for a lot of versions of Windows. So you can see this will be the version releases. So if you're using a very old version of Windows 10, now is the time to start thinking about updating to version 22 H2. And if you haven't been given that option to update to this, you can use the automatic update tool from Microsoft. It's the update assistant, which will update you to the very latest version. It's important because you can see here version 21 H2 ends on June 13th, 2023. And that will be the end of all other versions other than 22 H2. So that is the end of life for uh, Windows 10 Home and Pro. But let's have a quick look at the LTSC versions. Now I'm running Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC uh, 2019, and you can see the extended uh, end date is January 9th, 2029. So this gives me right up until January 9th, 2029 on my main system that I can use for Windows 10 if I wanted to, or I can upgrade to uh, another version. Now, another thing to remember is if you want to update the Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC version, say to 21 uh, H1, then you will need to obviously have another key because the key for the Enterprise LTSC 2019 will not activate on that version. So each version will have their own key and their own activation that you would have to have. So whatever version you're running, there's many different versions out there. Uh, but this is the version I'm running on my system. But all the end dates uh, for Windows 10 Enterprise will be different. So you have to check uh, with the version that you're running what end date yours has. OK, so let's go through some of the options that you'll have as a Windows 10 Home or a Windows 10 Pro uh, user. If you're using Windows 10 Home or Pro, then basically on October 14th, 2025, Microsoft will see support for that operating system. That means you will not receive any more security updates or any feature updates. That is it, you're done. Now, there is a chance that Microsoft could extend the life of that um, operating system, but they haven't announced anything like that yet. So at the moment, you might be looking at October 14th, 2025, and that will be it. So the other option would be to either update to Windows 11, as long as your system meets the minimum system requirements and you run the PC Health Check app to make sure your computer is compatible for Windows 11. If it's not, then you can either install uh, Windows 11 on that unsupported hardware and bypass it. And basically, you will then receive security updates right now, but that could change in the near future. Microsoft could cease all support for unsupported hardware and you will then not receive any security updates or feature updates on that computer. They haven't done it yet, but they could change their mind at any time. So bear that in mind. The other option would be to install, do a fresh install of Windows 10 LTSC, get yourself a version that you want and then basically install that and activate it because you would need a new key and then you could use that up until uh, 2029 if it's uh, the 2019 version again you are not going to receive any more feature updates for those builds they are just going to be as is right now 22 h2 is the very last feature update for windows 10 right across the board okay so bear that in mind now if you want to check whether your processor uh, meets the requirements for microsoft you can check 
some of the links in the video description here and it will go through here and it will tell you exactly what uh, processors are compatible with Windows 10. You can see here right the way through it will give you every version. So let me just go through here and I'll show you exactly uh, what we got here. So we're going to go down uh, to Windows 10 21 H2 here and let's have a look at the Intel. And you've got Intel and also we've got AMD processors. So you could just click on these and run through here and see whether your processor is in here. If it is, then obviously you'll be able to install Windows 11. You can run the app check on there. It's a very simple process. And I'll show you quickly show you that now. I will leave all of these links in the video description for you. So you can just use these links. And basically, it just shows you how to use the PC Health Check app. And it will check your system and basically tell you whether your uh, computer is compatible with uh, Windows 11. You might need to change a few settings to make sure you've got all the green ticks in the box. And then once you've done these, you should be able to install or update to Windows 11. I would advise you to install Windows 11 rather than go through the update process because obviously it's better to run a clean install of a new operating system. So you can click on this little link here and this will take you to this page here and you can see this will now download the application and this will then open up this app. Let me just go through here. I'm already on Windows 11 on this system. So I'm just going to quickly install it here and show you basically what it looks like. I'll quickly install this on the system. There we go. So we can just now open the application up and this is what it looks like right here. So all you need to do here is you can check and this will run a check and you can see here this PC meets the Windows 11 uh, requirements. Now, if yours doesn't, it'll have a bunch of different red crosses here for certain things like TPM or maybe the CPU and things like that. And it will tell you exactly on here. You'll be able to see all the results just like this one here. You can see I've got check marks in all of these. It's telling me that this is perfectly fine. Now, if it does have a red cross here, it doesn't necessarily mean that your system is not compatible just means that you might need to enable that feature uh, in your system and once you enable it it will then go to a green tick so just bear that in mind not all these red cross if they're red crosses doesn't mean it's not compatible it just means that uh, you haven't enabled that feature and you can go through and do all that i've made videos on this before so that is the pc health check uh, app which you can use now if you go down the ltsc route Again, this is a Microsoft lightweight version of Windows 10 and Windows 11 they are going to be releasing. But basically, it will be a ripped out version done by Microsoft so it doesn't have all the bloat in it. And you can use that version on your computer. Now, again, that is a, a, you know, a deadline coming, so it can change at any time. At the moment, the Windows 10 LTSC, uh, which is the version you're seeing here, uh, this is the 2019 version. This has got right up until 2029 uh, as of uh, today, which is the 3rd of the 5th, uh, 2023. That can change, but it should be pretty good right up until that point. Other than that, once that deadline comes, all of those versions of Windows 10 will be uh, the end of life, and you will then be forced to go to the next version, which could be Windows 12, or it could be still Windows 11. Who knows? Microsoft haven't announced anything about future operating systems. But for people that are saying, uh, you know, they're going to stay on the Windows 10 for as long as possible, you really can't stay on there forever because obviously once it reaches end of life, you're not going to get any support or updates or any feature updates anymore or security updates. It's going to be it, end of life. So you either have the option to go to Mac or go to Linux or use uh, the latest versions of Windows uh, that they release in. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. Uh, so if you are using Windows 10 and uh, you are looking forward for more future feature releases from Microsoft, then you're going to be very disappointed because that is the end. You're not going to get any more. Now, one thing that does amaze me is the amount of people that used to hate on Windows 10 back in the day when it first got released. And, uh, you know, people were adamant that they don't want to use it. They hate it. Now, all of a sudden, uh, it's now Windows 11 they don't like, and they hate Windows 11. And of course, Windows 10 is the best thing since sliced bread all of a sudden. It's just a continual thing that happens with every release of Windows. I mean, what other options do you really have? You can go and get Mac OS and install that on a Mac system and use Mac. But most people that have been using Windows all their life are not going to want to jump ship to there. 
And again, Linux is really not an option for a lot of people. And uh, no matter how much they will tell you in the comments section, just install Linux, it's the best and all this nonsense. Most of them still have one foot inside Windows and most of them still use Windows in a virtual machine inside Linux. It's just absolutely ludicrous. It's not an option for a majority of people out there. But some people will use it and some people will jump ship to it, but a majority of people won't. And that's why it has such a small user base uh, that actually use uh, Linux. And other than that, the only other option is to wait until Microsoft announce another version of Windows, which they probably will do. But again, is that going to be any better than Windows 11? It's probably going to have the same telemetry, the same uh, privacy concerns for people, and probably doubled or quadrupled even more than what Windows 11 has. It's the way we're going with operating systems. And again, there's going to be probably more things they're not going to like about the very latest uh, release from Microsoft. So, you know, you either buckle up and get used to Windows 11 or you can stick with Windows 10 up until uh, the end of life. And those are your options. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.